today I'm going to show you how I made a vintage 1950s style hostess apron. And of course this apron is completely impractical. It's more for show. It's more of a fantasy pretty apron that you would wear over a very fancy dress. So let's get started. We're going to start with this beautiful sheer rose fabric. This is all of the fabric I have and I've used some of it for some other projects. But we're going to take whatever's remaining and make a really ridiculously frilly impractical apron. First thing I'm going to do is take the machine and run a gathering stitch along the top. Now I'm going to pin it to the mannequin and work on some gathering. Now I'm just going to even out the gathers a little bit. That actually looks pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and secure these in place by running a stitch over it. Now let's put it on the mannequin. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, as you can see, this is really long and it doesn't have the shape that we want yet. So I'm gonna cut it kind of down to size and uh, try to make it the shape that I want. I think I want a big heavy bottom, or at least a little bit of a heavy bottom. So I'm gonna cut it to there. By heavy, I mean thick. I want a thick bottom there. So that's my cut mark, and now I can take it off there and double it and cut it to the size I need. Okay, now I'm just going to put these together like that, and then I'll cut the apron. Right, looks perfect to me. So now we're gonna put it back on the mannequin. So this is really long and originally I thought what I'd do was fold it up and have a very wide, I mean it would be like this, but have a very wide bottom that was kind of thick because I really like that about vintage clothes. They usually have a very wide hem at the bottom and I think that just looks so cool. It just really says it's vintage. But then I have this pink, cute, frilly lace. And then I thought this would look perfect at the bottom. Now, if I did that with a big thick band at the bottom, that's gonna look a little bit ridiculous. That's not gonna work. I don't think that'll look good. So what I'm thinking is I cut this to a smaller size and it also doesn't look good that long. So if I make this smaller like this, I like it, but I almost think it should be for a, I think that the lace is so small it should be for something smaller. Or maybe that the shape of the apron should be different. But I do like that. I think the pink really matches and I think it looks so freaking cute. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of change the shape maybe. Like I think it'd be cuter if it went up like in a rounded way. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And this will be a nice little hostess apron. Oh yeah, that's gonna look cute. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I have this on the ironing board. Now we've got the rounded part. This is where, you know, I don't really need all of this see. I'm gonna start cutting about right here, I think. Okay, and then I need it to be rounded. I don't know if you can see this or not, but right here is where I want the rounded part to go up at, and it's gotta meet this bottom edge. So we're just gonna cut it and round it like that. Ba -ba -ba. Let's do this. Okay, now we're just gonna take and fold this in half and match the other side and cut that side. 
Okay, so this looks kind of uneven, so I'm gonna steam it real quick just to get all the wrinkles out and get a better cut. Oh, it actually looks even when you do that, so maybe we'll just leave it. Now we're gonna roll in the edges and pin them in place. Okay, we're back on the dress form and I've just basted the bottom right here. So I haven't actually sewn it yet, but I really think that it's coming along really cute. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of this lace to the bottom and see how it looks now. I really like how this is coming along. I'm wondering if it should be a little bit shorter. No, I like it like that. I like it a lot. I think this is gonna look darling. So I'm gonna add this to the bottom now. Now it's time for the waistband. Originally, I was going to use this, which I think is really lovely and I'm still going to use for the ties. But if I use this for a waistband, we're gonna have this raw edge at the top and it just, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like that it's not folded over. So. So we're going to use this for the waistband and this for the ties and then it'll look really cute. I'm gonna iron this flat. I have a piece right here. We're gonna iron flat and then I'm going to cut it to fit. I also like this idea better because I can have a much wider waistband than I was going to have originally and that actually works out a lot better. Okay, I've got a large rectangle cut out so now I'm going to fold it in half and iron it in place. Now we have a nice soft crease at the top and I really, really like that much better. I feel like this is just a little too wide. I don't want it that wide. I want it to be probably half that. So I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Rulers, what's that? Now that I've cut it down a little bit, I'm going to roll in the edges. Now we can start pinning this to our apron. And what I'm gonna do is fold it in half right here, find that halfway mark, and just put a pin right there. And then I'm gonna do the same with this. Just put a pin right there. And now it doesn't have to be exact because I've got far more fabric than I need, but I just want to kind of make it somewhat right. There we go. Now we'll just pin that down. And now we'll work our way around the apron. I pinned the whole apron and now we're going to cut off some of this excess here. Like that. I may have to cut it down just a little bit more. We're going to fold this in. Like that. And maybe just a little bit more. It needs a little more trimmed off. 
Now I'm going to fold that in to the edge just like that and iron it in place. And then we'll just pin it right here. Like that. Then we'll do the same thing for the other side. Now with everything pinned down, I can take this to the sewing machine and sew it in place. All right, we're back on the mannequin and I have the waistband attached. It's very floopy because like I said, this is an impractical, ridiculous apron, but, and I still have this that I want to put on. So two options, one to just attach it in the back like that. One thing I was thinking of was to go like this around, but then I'd have all of this up here, and that might look silly. I don't think that's gonna work, simply because that's gonna look really ridiculous up at the top. I mean, it would've worked if we made it ruffly up here, but since we didn't, that's, that's, not, gonna, that's not gonna work. I don't know that this is going to work after all. It may just have to be the ties. Now this represents the last of this fabric that I have. I don't know that there's enough to make ties here because it gets pretty small at this section. Uh, if that's the smallest section, it might work. I don't know. I'm not loving that. I don't think there's enough of this, so this is not an option. Here's a new thought. I think this would look adorable at the top like this. I think I like that a lot. It just adds something to it and it's not gonna ruin the, the band up here. And it will tie into the bottom. Now let's hope that I have enough of this to do it. Now I'm just gonna go around pinning this to the side Now the ruffles are on the bottom and I think it looks so cute. It's coming along just perfectly and there was enough left over to go across the top. And I just want to see if that's still what I want to do. Yes, I think that ties it in together. Perfect. I'm going to sew it on now. Now that this little cute part is sewn on, I have this much left and I'm going to cut it in half and try to make some little pockets. So I think it'd be cute to have one here and one there. Okay, I know they're not even. I just wanna get a general idea of what it's gonna look like. And then if we have real pockets, it will add some, hmm. It's gonna add some bulk there. I don't know if we want real pockets or not. You know, I kinda wanna do it. Do I want that or do I want just the illusion of a pocket? So, so we have that which requires imagination to really picture it or that. Oh my gosh, I think that looks better. Just having the illusion. But then is it gonna look silly? Decisions, decisions. I think after all, I want a little pocket. I just think that's how it's gotta be. The illusion of the pocket's gonna drive me crazy. Now, do we want to add a little bit of this also so that it ties in a little bit? I don't know. Would it, would it tie in or would it look stupid? Don't know, man! Okay, I think I'm going to start making pockets. And for that, I'm going to use a little bit of felt. Alright, so this is the shape of my pocket. It's really tiny. I know that you're gonna barely be able to put anything in it, but this is more of a fantasy apron than a real apron. I just, uh, I don't know, I need a real pocket. So here is the fabric. So I'm going to cut out one of my pockets. First, I'm gonna iron this flat. Now I need a little bit of a seam allowance to tuck everything in.
Now using this as my guide, I'm going to iron everything this way on top of it. That way I can kind of get a good shape. Very nice. And then we'll just fold this one over. Now we can go around and trim everything a little bit more too because we know how it's gonna look. I'm gonna make sure it's really, really ironed out like that. Now I can take this out. And voila, we have a pocket. I'm gonna stitch along the top. Okay, with this stitched, now I'm going to add this. My ruffles! Now we can get a better idea of how this looks because we'll put this here like that. Very cute, but not exactly right, is it? Might be a little too low. That's a lot better, I think. Okay, so I put it on myself and this is pretty much where we want it to be. I'm liking it kind of, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. Actually, I like that. Time to sew it on. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I make the other one and then I can get the positioning right. That's what I'm gonna do. I think that's gonna work. Okay, to the sewing machine. Actually, before I start sewing anything, I'm just gonna make sure these are pretty even, like that. The pockets are on. They're completely impractical, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Now we need to add the ribbon. I just cut the ribbon and I realized there's wire inside, so I don't want that. So we're gonna have to take out all this wire. It's just so tiny too, but it's enough that I don't want that in there. I got all of the wire out and, and now I'm just going to fold this over a couple times and put that right in here like that. And now I'm gonna sew this in place and then we'll have our ties. The ties are now on there securely. And the next thing we have to do is fold in the edge and then make it into a little point. And then sew it in place. Okay, time for the final reveal. Oops, backwards. Okay, there we go. It is all finished and I made this so extra long so that in the back it twists around and then ties in the front because I think that's just so adorable. Here it is over a white skirt. It just looks so cute and so girly. I love it so much that it was just adorable. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.